To create this design, go to the curve and add a Bezier circle. Then go to the top view, go to the edit mode, then select these handles and then scale them in this way. Then select these handles and change the transform pivot point to the individual origin and scale them in this way. So you will get this elliptical shape. Then go to the curve properties and decrease the resolution up to 6. Then right click and convert it to the mesh. Go to the edit mode, select everything and press F to fill the gap. Then select these words and press J to connect them in this way. Add one loop cut here and then select these words and press J to connect them. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. Now you got this 2D shape. Now we need to bend it. Rotate it into 90 degree and then Go to the modifier and add simple deform modifier. Check this bend option. Then choose the proper axis for the bend. Apply the rotation. I will bend it along the Z axis. And then give the proper angle. I will go with a 45 degree angle. You can see this bending. Then apply the modifier. And then rotate it into 90 degree. And then apply the rotation. Then move it along the z-axis, go to the edit mode, select these edges and then E to extrude them along the z-axis and then S and X scale them along the x-axis in this way, slight angle. Then select this bottom edge loop and press F to fill the gap and then E to extrude it and move it along the z-axis. Then right click and loop tool circle option in this way and then decrease the scale Select everything, press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Now select this face and E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. Select this edge loop and Ctrl B add bevel on it. Then select these faces and use the insert operation, press B to avoid the border. Now select this edge and move it along the Z axis in this way. Select this edge, move it along the Z axis, select this edge and move it along the Z axis. I try to build that curve. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this along the Y axis. And then dissolve these edges. And then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. You can select this edge loops and you can use the set flow on them then select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it add a two segment bevel and shape factor should be one then you can dissolve this edge select this edge loop and you can use the edge slide on it then hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it uncheck this option select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it then select this edge loop, press F to fill the gap and use the insert operation. Add one loop cut here, add one loop cut here. Select this edge loop and there are 32 words. Use the insert operation, loop tool circle option and then rotate it in this way. Use the insert operation, delete this face, select the edge loop and then face grid fill. Adjust the offset, turn on the simple blending. In this way you can create this kind of design. You can see the topology, you can see the form. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.